and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing the Reveal Wheel Butterfly Add-on, so let's go ahead and check it out. The Reveal Wheel Butterfly Add-on is intended to work with the Reveal Wheel. You can do it in the square shape or in the rectangular shape, and it makes a really cool color-changing butterfly. So the die set has the butterfly window, a frame to go on top, and the little body and antenna for the butterfly. So what I'm going to do is take the window and drop it right into that puzzle piece opening of the reveal wheel. I can run that through my die cut machine and you'll see that you have a really cool butterfly shaped opening with your reveal wheel design. One of the really cool things about this die is that the die has these little score lines in the center. So you can have your butterfly flat or you can pop those wings up so that they look 3D. So I love that you have two options with this. You can have it flat like that or you can fold along those little score lines and have a cool 3D butterfly. That 3D effect can also be done on the frame that goes over the butterfly opening. And what's cool about this frame is, is that it's perfect for putting on any card. It's just really, really pretty as a decoration, but of course it's great to decorate the reveal wheel opening as well. So just like that, you can layer it on there to get the butterfly wing details, have a little bit of different color, and then you can layer the little butterfly body on top. So now we're going to go ahead and make a reveal wheel with it. So we're going to take out some of my favorite papers ever, and that's the birthday candle paper from Watercolor Wishes. And I'm going to die cut that with my rectangular reveal wheel by popping in that cool butterfly window. So I'm holding that in place with some washi tape. Then I'm going to run that through my die cut machine, and now I've got this beautiful blue sky with the butterfly floating at the top. Next, I'm gonna pop that butterfly out and we're gonna cut another piece of that paper to be the base of our reveal wheel, but without the butterfly opening in it. Next, I'm gonna be cutting some Spiffy Speckles paper. This is the pesto color and I love it so much for grass. I die cut it that same way and later we're gonna be using a grassy border die with it. I've die cut the main reveal wheel out of some watercolor paper and the wheel base out of some white cardstock. And I'm also gonna take out a mini brad so that we can form this cool interactive element. So there is that simple grassy hillside and we're gonna die cut that so that we have a grassy border that has that same stitch detail as that whole reveal wheel front piece. This is the Butterfly Kisses stamp set and this stamp set is so perfect with this reveal wheel butterfly. So we're gonna take out the Sending Butterfly Kisses stamp set and we're gonna stamp it in the freshly cut grass ink because I figured that was pretty appropriate for stamping on the grass and I really love the tone on tone look of the sentiment on that die cut grass piece. We can add some tape runner to the back of that and layer that onto the front of the card. For the frame of the butterfly, I'm going to take out some sticky note cardstock, which is a really beautiful pale yellow. And yellow is my favorite color, so this cardstock just makes me happy. And I'm going to die cut the butterfly there and also the body and the antenna. And we're going to add a little liquid glue on that and we're going to layer that right over that butterfly. So now that's going to give us this great yellow butterfly in the beautiful blue sky. We'll layer the body and antenna on top and then we're gonna take that Butterfly Kisses stamp set out again. And I went ahead and stamped and colored some of the cute images from this set. So I took that bunny and that bear that are sitting there so that they can look up at the color changing butterfly. And I also stamped some other butterflies too, just to kind of put around in the scene. So we're just gonna layer those all around so that you can see the butterflies flying around the one that's gonna be changing color. Next up, we're gonna take that wheel that we die cut out of watercolor cardstock and we're gonna be doing some watercolor on it. So I'm gonna be using these beautiful watercolors that Hyjin gave me. I met her over at Stamp Fever and Orange when we were doing a fun event. And how cute is this tiny little color wheel? So you spin the wheel and then that selects each color and you can add some water in and watercolor. And she even has everything painted in there too. So she makes these cute little kits and I'm gonna link it in the description below um, so you guys can go check it out. But look how pretty these colors are and what I I love about it is I was able to just kind of go along in the wheel and create this really cool watercolor look. When I'm doing these color changing ones, it's really fun to do either watercolor painting or ink blending or even just using pieces of cardstock or pattern paper. And we're gonna be doing that in the second card in this video today. But there you can see that I'm building up all of the color and there's just, oh my goodness, I love doing this. I'm not a watercolor person. It's definitely not my expertise, but I absolutely love doing watercolor rainbow washes. And I feel like even though I'm not an expert watercolorist, I can really make them look super, super nice. 
So I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. And when I dried it, it dried pretty faint. I didn't put quite as much color on there as I wanted. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the whole same process, building that color up all around the wheel. And you can see how it's darkening now, which I think is really pretty, especially for looking through the tiny little openings of that butterfly frame. I went ahead and dried this with my heat tool because I was too impatient to wait to see what my wheel was going to look like. And look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. I almost didn't even want to put it in the card because I just wanted to stare at that wheel all day. But it looks really, really cool behind the butterfly. So I decided to make that reveal wheel anyways. And I'm going to add that brad through the small wheel base and then up through the main large wheel. We're going to open that brad and secure it in place. We can then add some little foam squares there all around that brad on that smaller wheel around the brad but not touching the brad. We're gonna peel up that liner paper so the stickiness is exposed. And then we're gonna look through that butterfly and that die has a little score line. And we're gonna look through until we don't see the score line. We're gonna shift it up and we're gonna shift it in at that thumb notch until we don't see the score line. That'll put it in perfect placement and then we can line it up with the base and stick it down to the base just like that. And now you'll see that that wheel is in perfect placement and creating the coolest rainbow changing butterfly. We're gonna add some foam squares all around the wheel, but not touching the wheel. We'll peel up all of that liner paper, and then we can lay the card front right on top. And if you're curious about the reveal wheel, make sure to check out the intro to reveal wheel that goes through the whole process really slowly um, and really explains the whole reveal wheel concept. We're gonna link that up in the cards right now, so you're gonna see it up in the right-hand corner and also in the description below. I've got my six by six pad here of the spring fling papers and I chose the Rachel paper because I love those beautiful yellow flowers. They're just so happy and cheerful. And we're gonna lay that onto a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. We'll add a bunch of foam squares to the back of our review wheel mechanism and we're gonna lay that right onto the card base. We die cut an arrow there out of more of that spring fling paper. It's a really pretty pink. We die cut that arrows in the reveal wheel die and so that's gonna tell the recipient what to do. And now you can see how beautiful is that with the colors changing in there. I think this would really make someone smile. It's so happy and cheerful and just fun. And so here you can see the color changing from a distance here and you can see just how beautiful it is to have it change color. I think glitter paper behind there would be really, really cool too. Next up, we're gonna be creating a square reveal wheel. So here we have the reveal wheel square add-on and we've dropped in that butterfly window. We've also die cut the large main wheel and we're gonna be die cutting this square with the butterfly window out of some of the spiffy speckles paper. And I love the white sheets in this collection because the speckles on it are just just subtle enough to add a little extra something. So now we've got our main piece there with our butterfly cut out, and then we're gonna be pulling out some pattern paper from really rainbow scallops. And I love how these paper collections go together so nicely. And we're gonna be die cutting that into a four and a quarter inch square, and we're gonna lay that onto a card base. We'll also die cut the base for the reveal wheel. We're gonna cut that square, but without the butterfly window in it. And we're just gonna cut that from some white cardstock. Next, we're gonna take that butterfly frame piece and we're gonna die cut that from some gold sparkle cardstock. And we're also gonna die cut the body and antenna from some storm cloud cardstock. And you can see just how beautiful those look out of the gold glitter paper. So here is our main wheel and we went ahead and die cut a bunch of wheels from that same spiffy speckles paper in four different colors. So that's how it's gonna change color this time is just with pattern paper. So we're gonna take that wheel and we're gonna quarter these pieces and that way the wheel's gonna change color every quarter turn. What's really cool about quartering these, it means that you have extra pieces that you can use on another card so you can make more of these really cool reveal wheels. So now that we have all four pieces, we're gonna take that main wheel there and we're gonna cover it completely in adhesive and we're gonna lay those little pie pieces on there. It almost looks like a little pie chart, right? We're gonna lay those on there so that we can see the color change. You can even do eighth inch slices and have the color change even more often. It's totally up to you. So now it's time to start forming the reveal wheel. So we're gonna take that small brad and we're gonna put it up through the smaller wheel base and then up through the main wheel. And we're gonna open those prongs and secure it all securely in place. And then we're gonna add some foam squares around that brad, but not touching the brad onto that smaller wheel base. We're gonna peel off that liner paper and then we're gonna line up that wheel again. So we're gonna line it up so that we don't see the score line at the top of the butterfly and we don't see the score line at the notch. And then we can line it up with the base there and attach it to the base of the reveal wheel. 
Next, we're gonna take that gold glitter butterfly and we're gonna layer that right on top of that butterfly opening. And you'll see just how pretty that looks, especially with that yellow speckled paper. This time we're gonna take that butterfly and we're gonna pop it up by folding along the score lines that the die creates for us. You can see how beautiful it looks with that butterfly popped up off that opening. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the little antenna and body. And then we can add foam squares all around that wheel but not touching the wheel. And then we can layer our piece right on top. And now we're gonna have this really cool color changing butterfly. Now this time we're going to be using those butterflies as decorations too, but first we're going to be look, working with this fancy wavy banner. And so what's really cool about this one is one, it coordinates perfectly with that wavy saying stamp set. So we've got our cool little narwhal ink there and we're going to stamp and then we're going to fold back and then towards ourselves on either side of this banner and it creates a really cool three dimensional banner. And we've die cut this from some ballet slippers cardstock. So you can see how awesome that looks. We're gonna take our whole reveal wheel piece here and we're gonna layer it onto the card base, add some foam squares and tape runner to this banner, and then we can layer the banner right on top. We've used the large wreath die, which is meant to be a Christmas wreath, but we're using it totally different here. And we've die cut some pixie dust sparkle cardstock, and we're gonna layer those under the banner. And you can see just how pretty it looks. What we're doing is we're just trimming off pieces of those branches so that they're of varying heights. We're also gonna add a little liquid glue just to the center body part of that butterfly there so that it's gonna pop up on that score line. So we fold the score line so that it has those nice popped up edges, and you're only gonna add the adhesive on the back of the body area. Area. We're also going to tuck in some more of these cute little sprigs there and I love how they're looking. I love the foliage with the butterflies and all that sparkle. We've got a last little piece right there which is looking awesome. You can add a little liquid glue on the back and attach that to the card. And I'm loving this pink and gold combo. Multiple people from the design team did the gold glitter with pink. We thought it was so beautiful so we just had to include it in the video today. We're attaching that last butterfly frame on there and I really love how gorgeous these are. I'm gonna use them on cards that aren't even reveal wheel cards because I just love that butterfly frame so much and how those wings can just pop right up. We're gonna add the little body and antenna. And then we're gonna sprinkle around some tiny little hearts cut from some of that gold sparkle cardstock and also guava cardstock. And these are the hearts from the Stitch Journaling card, but any of our tiny little heart dies would look great here. And for finishing touch, we're gonna to add a few little sequins onto the card too. And all of that sparkle and shine is just gorgeous. I love this card design. I love that you could do it in all sorts of different color combos too, um, which would look amazing. So you could pick someone's favorite colors and then to finish the card up, we're gonna stamp the arrow that's in the Reveal Wheel Sentiment Set, and that's gonna tell the recipient what they need to do. And then we're actually gonna leave the inside of the card blank. So what you can do is you could take any of the sentiments from the wavy sayings and stamp it on the inside of this card, just depending on what kind of card you need. So you could see, do the thank you one, you could do the love you one, the you're the best. So I love leaving the insides of cards like this blank so that they're ready for whatever occasion you need it for. And there you can see that butterfly changing color it's so pretty and happy and fun. I love the idea of using pattern paper on that wheel to make the color change happen. And so then here you can see just how cute the card is in that fun color combo. And then now we have a couple of cards by the design team. And this card coming up by Megan is so beautiful and she combined it with our Flutter By stamp set. And I love the almost stained glass look that it has. It's just gorgeous. This card by Lynette is so super sweet. I love how she used that colorful flower paper in the background. And then here Carolina got super creative and she used those butterfly frames on their own without the reveal wheel. So I love that you can get lots of uses out of this cute little mini die set. I can't wait to see what you guys create with the reveal wheel butterfly, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.